Hello and welcome back to Tech It. This is my uh, little house, as you remember. It's night time. Where's the moon at? Don't know. Should make a clock. And what's going on here? We've got our generator powering the macerator, which sends things to the blue electric furnace, which puts it into this lovely chest. Um, let's make some with more refined iron, shall we? So we'll put that in there, get that going. Now we we would like some more power, really, for this industrial craft stuff, because at the moment we're still using coal power, which is not ideal. We've got solar panels for this blue electric furnace, but we need something like that for our macerator and whatever else we decide to build in industrial craft. So I've got eight solar panels and a low voltage transformer that I made earlier, um, I made them last series, if you recall, uh, but if you don't recall, then here's the recipe. What's, what's this? There we go. Electric circuit generator, coal dust, which is macerated coal, glass. The circuits are made up of uh, fine iron, redstone, and copper cables, which in turn are made up of rubber and copper. Simples. <laughs> A low voltage transformer is very easy, it's just wood copper cables and copper. Cool. Before I actually do anything with these solar panels, I'm going to show you something else which is very cool. I'll put it under the stairs here. I don't think I need that much room actually. It's called a crafting table 3 and it will speed up your tech it stuff a lot. Um, I quite like just making the recipes. So here it is. Put it down there. It's a slightly different crafting bench. This one's got a chest attached, which keeps the stuff in as well. This one's special as well because it has all these items here. Now, what this does is it finds all the items that you could make using whatever is in your inventory. So, just say I want to make, you know, a book. It can it can decide to make the book, but I haven't got any paper, but I have got reeds or sugar canes. So it will turn the sugar canes into paper, and then it will turn the paper into the book, just with one click. There you go. It goes into this line here, which then you can then take it into your inventory. So it's very clever. Um, I tend to use this more often, I think, but if I'm in a hurry and I've already made loads of stuff already, and I kind of just am um, feeling a bit lazy, then this is great. And if you don't want to learn all the Tech It recipes yourself, then you can just use this as well. So it's good for newbies, it's good for everyone, it's good for whoever. <laughs> so, yeah, very cool. So what I could do is just build the load voltage solar array using this and clicking there. But I will just build it properly, just so you guys can see how it's made. So you just put the uh, solar panels, the basic solar panels in a square with a low voltage transformer in the middle and that makes us a low voltage solar array. Now what this basically is, is eight solar panels in one. Um, so it takes up a lot less room and it gives us a lot more power. Also it produces low voltage electricity so we don't have to worry about it blowing up on machines. We've got a battery box which stores the uh, power from the, from the solar panels outside but that's a red power one. But what, so what we need is called a bat box. Now a bat box uses uh, copper cables and wood and cells. So it's very easy to make. Uh, I've already got tin. So what we do is make a few cells, which are made like this. Easy, we'll just put that in there so we can make it. We want to make three of these for the bat box. And then we want to make the bat box, which is this. And then we've got wood uh, down there, there, and there, I think. And then there's a single cable at the top. Yeah, there we go. A bat box. Now, this stores 6000 EU, which is the power measurement in industrial craft. And it will, um, yeah, it acts like a battery. So the, so, so the solar array that I made. We'll store its power at night um, in the bat box. Now I need to move that generator 
Um, I need a wrench for that. So I'll just build a quick wrench as well. Dum, 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 dum. There you go. So I'll take up the generator. Oops. There you go. And I'll put the bat box there instead. The output facing the macerator, hopefully. That should do it. Now we'll go outside and cut through that wall. Uh, is that right? Yep. I'm just going to grab, oh, to grab some ca more cables. I think I've got some glass fiber cables. Which I, you know, if, unless I like really am poor, then it's really worth using these for everything because they're pretty much the best thing you can you can get. Uh, we won't lose any power from them. And then we'll just bring them out here and alongside the red power panels, we'll put our lovely low voltage solar array. So now we should see the bat box is gaining charge. Pretty quick rate. Oh, 40,000, sorry, not 6,000. That's well off. So now we'll see how well that can handle being used. Um, so let's macerate some gravel. So with the macerator running, still gaining a lot of, lot of charge, so it's good. That's keeping this stuff all going, so we don't have to use any coal anymore, which is always nice. Now, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to build a recycler, just so we can start recycling some of our stuff and make some scrap, which is kind of handy sometimes. So, to make a recycler, I'll show you. It is a compressor, some glowstone, some refined iron, and then some dirt, and the compressor is machine block, a circuit, and some stone. Recycler. Now I'm going to plonk this down somewhere. Um, where do you reckon would be a good place? for a, It's basically a bin. So how about, I don't know, under next to the crafting bench here maybe. Or here, perhaps. Now we need to power it, so we need to take out the floor. Hope we don't find a shrine to Israfel. Do oh! Hello! What are you doing under my house? God, I didn't know this thing was here. <laughs> Never mind. We'll sort it out. Okay. Um, that'll do for now. God, how do I get out? Do I... Oh, there's a way out. God, this is weird. It's like a basement. A, a pool basement. Wow, that'd be cool actually, underground pool. Maybe I should build that in a later episode. I like the sound of that, don't you? Oh yeah. So, um, run, let's run some... Oh, bollocks. <laughs> let's run some glass fibre cables from the bottom of the recycler. Oops. All the way... <sighs> down here and then we'll connect it up to the uh, the back box after we put the floor back actually we'll do it first just hope we don't fall in <laughs> uh, okay so hmm how is this going to work? Like that? Maybe? Maybe this way? Um, let's dig that. This will work, won't it? There we go. And that should be gaining power. It's not. Um, why? Oh, because of the output is, is different. Oh! Oh, okay, so that's a bit annoying. Um, we're going to have to move the bat box, which loses us a bit of power, but it's fine. It should recharge fairly quick. Um, 
now, we'll have to put it here, I guess. Trapped. I'm a trapped. Let me out. Okay. So the master is run out of power, as you could just hear. So there we go, and we'll switch it around once we're inside to face the right direction. And here we go. Use the wrench to switch it the right way, and then we'll put the cable. Actually, should we go underneath? Uh, screw it. Looks fine there. Has that worked? Yeah. And now it should be gaining power. Yes, there we go. Full power. Full power. Now we'll put the floor back. Make it all look nice and neat. Okay, now we can recycle stuff. Like that dirt. Bam. Now occasionally this will make scrap. Occasionally. And we can use scrap to make fertilizer. With bone meal. Or two scrap and fertilizer to make more fertilizer. Weird. Bone meal is uh, easy enough to get. Now, this hasn't made any. Let's dump some stuff in it. If we could just take this out for now. Get us a bit of cobblestone to throw in the bin. So, with our scrap, we can turn the um, bone meal and the scrap into fertilizer. Like that. 12. Not bad. And um, for hydration cells, we need a empty tin cell, which is like this. You get 16 for that. Little cells. And then we go and put some water in them. Let's do a couple. And now we put the water cells. Oops. Oh, we got one. Oh, that's fine. Now, we, what we want to do is put the water cell into an extractor. Now, I've got an extractor built ready for this. Um, just in case you forget, that's how you make it. Pretty easy. Tree taps, circuit, and a machine block. So, I'll just put our extractor down. Um, It's gone. Where's it gone? Come back. <laughs> put it down up here. There we go. And we'll put the water cell into there, and it will make it into a cooling cell. As you remember from the nuclear power, and um, that's what you put in the reactor to keep it cool. And the third thing we need is weed killer, so we can macerate a spider's eye, and that will give us some green gross powder stuff. And then we need uh, another empty cell, actually, and some redstone. So it's all pretty easy. Now the cooling cell isn't isn't a hydration cell yet, so we put it in the extractor again to turn it into a hydration cell. The spider's stuff, we'll try and catch it before it gets sucked out, there we go. Um, so I've got some grin powder it's called. Now what we do is we combine that um, in a crafting bench with some redstone and a cell to make some weed X. So I've got the fertilizer, the weed X, and a hydration cell. That's the three items you need, and, and some sticks, obviously. So we'll just turn the sticks into crop sticks by doing that. Easy enough. I'll make six, I think. And obviously, we need some seeds as well. So uh, I've got one seed there, some three sugar canes. What else do we have in our chest of wondrous organic items? We've got a melon. That's good. We can get some melon seeds. Um, I'll get another one of these seeds, another wheat seed. Some pumpkin seeds, maybe. Um, okay, so we do here? Can we make this into seeds? Yep. Yeah. Four pumpkin seeds, melon seeds, seeds and sugar cane. That's, that sounds perfect. It's getting a bit dark. Um, we'll put our farm here between the interdiction torches so hopefully monsters can't get us. How are we going to do this? Let's do that. And we'll put down some sticks. Oh we, oh, we need to, need to um, 
us do that? No. So yeah, we need to get a bucket of water to irrigate the land, of course. Otherwise it just does that. Dry as a bone there, dry as a bone. Um, we'll just put him down uh, in the middle. Sounds good. Oh, we'll call this deep. Really deep. Um, crumbs. <laughs> okay, it's interesting. Now, these things actually are um, changed based on what is underneath the dirt block. So they grow faster depending on what they're growing on. Um, so they all have to be growing on dirt, but what's under the dirt is what matters. Now, I don't really know the, the ins and outs of that system yet, but I think you need at least something under there. So I'm going to just put them, put some dirt under there just to keep it keep it all good. Just in case it all goes horribly wrong and they don't grow or something like that crazy. Um, good, good, good. Keep. Oh, no, run out of dirt. Oh, well. Oh, no. Run out of dirt. Oh, God. What a nightmare. I hate water in this game. Just It's just so effing annoying. Ugh. One. Good. And the last one there. Good. Cool. Now we've just broken all of our sticks, but that's fine. Um, we've got ten now. I'm sure I didn't make ten before. Oh, well. <laughs> okay, so these are the crops we're going to plant. Four. So I want some get some put some wheat down here, uh, some some sugar cane, go away sheep, you're not wanted, you trample on my stuff, um, some melons and some pumpkins, I think that sounds like a good plan to me, now these will grow and I can right click on them to harvest them or left click on them to break them. If I left click on them, I'll get a special seed packet sometimes. And that seed packet can have various properties, like uh, it might be like really fast growing or something like that. And then I can plant that seed again. And basically using that system, you can breed crops that have like really good stats, like really like grow really fast and produce lots of fruit and stuff like that. But I'm not really sure how that works really um but for now i'm just going to do some basic stuff these these four are going to grow now what you do um is you have in between once these are fully grown the section in between becomes like the cross pollination section um where the two plants will breed and it will create a new plant and you need to use two sticks on that area to make sure that it it knows to do, to use that area as a um a breeding spot i guess the best way to put it so I need a few more sticks. Um, one more stick. Good. Good, good, good. Now, if you don't use certain items on this place, it will grow weeds. So I need to use um, hydration cell, which which feeds it water, I guess. Um, they all need that. They need water. Else they won't grow very well. Um, they need fertilizer to keep them nice and fed. So use fertilizer on each of the squares. I think I've got enough. Yeah, plenty. Have I got enough to do it again? No. And finally, weed killer, just to make sure that weeds don't grow on the empty spots and or to all take over your lovely plants as as they grow. Okay. So I've used them. I've done all that. I think that's all done. Weed killed up. Perfect. Now, I just have to wait, and I have to wait a very really long time. This takes awfully long, so I'm just going to have a, a nice pork chop for dinner and pull up a chair and just watch my crops grow.
Well, okay, okay. This isn't this isn't going anywhere. Um, what's going on here? Why is this not growing? Let's just refertilize it all. It should be. Oh, I don't really know. Well, I've harvested that pumpkin. So if you right click to harvest something, I got two melons from that. And it will grow again. You see, that's what's so cool about it. You won't have to replant it. Now, this is just not doing anything. Um, now, this one is a crossbreed between the sugarcane and the pumpkin. Um, it hasn't finished growing yet. These two haven't done anything. The wheat, I'm surprised, just has done nothing. And wheat is usually quite quite quick, so I'm a bit confused about that. Um, very confused, actually. But oh well. Oh well. Um, I'll just leave it and and see how it does on its own. <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bye.